Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions, and today I've got the third video in the Draft Site series uh, where we're going to be taking a look at kind of a general process creating a site plan that could be typical in mining or civil industries. Uh, but along the way, we're going to be looking at using Draft Site and kind of comparing it back to AutoCAD any downfalls, advantages, little things like that, as well as just my general workflow. Uh, so I think you guys are going to really enjoy this video. Uh, again, I want to thank DraftSight for partnering and sponsoring this series. Uh, if you guys are looking for an affordable AutoCAD alternative, I highly recommend checking out DraftSight as well as checking out the previous two videos I've done with them uh, to learn a little bit more about the software and how easy it is to make that switch. Uh, so let's get started with today's video. All right, so getting started, uh, I know we're going to be doing a site plan, but almost all of these steps are going to be useful for any industry or type of drawing, including details, floor plans, uh, etc. Uh, we're going to be starting from a fresh drawing, setting up some scales as well as viewports, uh, and importing some data as well as drawing uh, on our plan. So to start, we're going to create a new drawing from a template. I'm using my CAD Intentions templates, which you can find in the description below or on my site, cadintentions.com. Uh, these are made in AutoCAD but work perfectly fine uh, straight across into DraftSite. I'm just going to open it here. And it's going to create a new drawing uh, with metric units as well as all of my layouts already set up. So that kind of is one of the first steps that many of us are going to use when we create a new drawing. And as you can see, it's as simple as creating a new drawing with our existing template. Next up, I need a base or background for my site plan. Uh, sometimes this would be contours, sometimes it could be uh, property lines. Uh, or even an image. Uh, in this case, I'm going to use an image, uh, which is pretty typical in uh, civil and mining cases. Your site plan or key plan is going to have a background image and then maybe a few features called out with labels and line work. Uh, to bring an image in, I've shown it in a previous video. I'm also going to show a different method today uh, using the online maps plugin for DraftSite. Uh, it's a free plugin. Uh, I'm going to post a link to a DraftSite blog post that walks through how to use it uh, as well as the link on where you can download it. But you can see in my plugins here, I've downloaded it already. Uh, you can activate it by simply clicking or typing in online maps. From there, it's going to ask us to specify the coordinate system. Uh, I'm going to use the default here because I'm not too worried uh, right now, but if you have a specific PRJ projection file or a specific uh, projection you'd like to use. Uh, you can select an alternative and import that file. I'm just going to use the standard WGS 1984. It's going to load up the application here. As you can see, uh, it's zoomed into actually the area where I live. Uh, generally, this is the city of Kamloops where I'm from. So we're going to just zoom in here to somewhere in town. Uh, I'm going to choose the university over here where maybe we'll uh, label a few things on the fields here. So we're going to insert the map and that's going to just bring it straight into our drawing. This is powered by Esri's uh, servers, uh, which will pull the image and align it and scale it for us in our drawing. So we've now got our image in our drawing. Uh, the next step may be setting up a viewport. So we're going to go over to 11 by 17 size paper uh, in landscape. From here, we're going to want to create a view uh, or viewport if you're familiar with AutoCAD. To do that, we can go over to the view tab up here and create a view tile. It's going to ask me for the starting corner. I'm going to choose my upper left and then I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom right here. It's going to just zoom to the extents of our drawing by default. Uh, as with AutoCAD, you can double click inside, zoom in uh, to scale in or zoom in. You can also choose your viewport and adjust your scale through the uh, scale options on the right here. Same goes for the annotative scales. Uh, quickly to touch on scaling, it works the same way as AutoCAD. Assume you've got your units and drawing spaces set up 
to the correct scales and units. Uh, you can simply add scales uh, in the same way you can in AutoCAD. Uh, on the right here at the bottom by clicking the annotation uh, flyout, going to scale list, and then simply adding a new scale. You can see the ones that are in your drawing currently. Perhaps you wanted to add a 1 to 150. You can simply click and add, add 1 to 150. And then on the drawing units, choose 150. And it's simple as that. Now going back to our layout, perhaps we want to uh, add some text. Again, this is going to be the same way you would do it in AutoCAD. Going to the Annotate tab up top here, you can choose to add Smart Dimensions, Aligned, Linear Dimensions, Angular, uh, all the standards, as well as simply just adding uh, text by adding a note. And if you hit the drop down here, you can choose between note, simple note, and curved text. Uh, all of these are similar to AutoCAD where a note is similar to an M text, uh, simple is similar to just text or D text, and then curved is similar to an aligned text option. Uh, we're gonna just add a note say down here, and we can call this soccer field. You can see the label goes directly onto the uh, paper space here. You could do these in model space as well using annotative text if that is your preference. Uh, and you have similar editing options to AutoCAD with the ability to change up your style, the font, size, and then add things like bold and italics, underline, etc. So from here, perhaps you'd like to print uh, or PDF your site plan or drawing. Uh, and to do that, it's similar. You can right click on the tab you'd like to print and choose the print option. You can also simply type in print in the command line to get your print dialog box. Uh, from here, you can choose your printer or plotter. Uh, by default, it goes to PDF, which is what we're gonna use here. Uh, you can choose your page size, as well as the usual options like scaling, offsetting, uh, as well as the range that you would like to print, whether you wanna print all of the sheets, the current view, uh, or all of your geometry within model space. Uh, we're just gonna cre create and print this initial uh, sheet that we've created into a PDF. Uh, to do that, we can hit okay. It's gonna ask you where you'd like to save it. Uh, I'm gonna save it in a folder that I've created for it here. And we're just gonna call it example site plan. So again, I haven't gone into detail adding any uh, features in the site plan. That's up to you guys, but in the majority of the ways you're gonna come across, uh, draft site acts and behaves the same or similar to AutoCAD. So you're gonna be able to draw in your line work, add as many labels, dimensions, and uh, callouts as you need, uh, and set up your view and layout space in the same way as well. So we're gonna just hit save here. And then I'm going to open up our site plan. So you can see, I'll drag that over here. You can see that in a matter of 10 or 15 minutes here, uh, we've got in real time a site plan created with a geo reference scaled image brought in from Esri, uh, and it's all ready to go. Uh, again, I'm going to put links to the plugin that I used, as well as the draft site blog post that walks through how to use it. Uh, and I'm also going to be answering any comments in the comments section. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, I want to thank DraftSite again for sponsoring this video. Uh, and I hope you guys will subscribe and check out the previous ones as well as any new videos that I've got coming out. Cheers. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos thanks again cheers